Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode we're going to be unboxing Combat Volume 1 from Combus Games and designer Ross Mortel. This is a solo designed World War II uh, squad level combat game uh, in the historical tradition of maybe an ambush exclamation point. Uh, we have combat exclamation point. Um, uh, so it's it's one player you're leading all your teams against the AI so um, it just got released here in the last few weeks and there's an issue with this one that we'll get into when we open it um, but good news is on the horizon as well so let's just crack it open here see what goodness is in there solitaire game design dun, dun, dun. I like to call games that are designed for a single player, single player only, not to be confused with um, like co-op games or playing both sides of a war game, as most of us do. Um, I like to use the phrase single player only because that means it is designed for a single player only. All right, so it's a, it's, it's a very heavy box. There's a lot of counters in here. So let's see what we got. All right, so we start off with, uh, we got cards on top. We've got the War Department Infantry Field Manual Rifle Platoon, restricted. These are the American cards. And then we've got the German AI cards here. The S2 reports on German military forces, September 1st, 1943. We'll take a look, quick look at some of the cards here, just so you can kind of see the one without, uh, without opening. Well, we'll go ahead and open them. But uh, the German order here, uh, this is the, uh, the AI. Uh, it's got different commands for what they're going to do based on their situation. And then these are cards that you'll play each turn to determine what your teams are going to do. So you got different, uh, you got different, uh, just different orders. Uh, assume the cards are multi-purposes. We got light wound at the bottom. We got bad wound. We got close call. So I'm assuming you're going to draw for wounds, killed in action. So you may lose some, some characters here. There are initiative numbers on the bottom of each card, uh, and then just different orders based on, again, what they're doing in their situation on the board. So not much thrilling there to look at, but two decks of cards. Like I said, very good quality, normal poker size, so that's good. Should be able to sleeve them if you want to. And that's what the cards look like. Uh, we've got three dice. We've got a six-sided and two ten-sided, and they work right out of the box. That's a good start. All right. Okay, so we start off with a rules of play book. It is uh, uh, Compass's uh, it's full color. It's uh, matte uh, paper. It's not glossy, which is very helpful. Uh, the rules come in at 32 pages. It does have an index, which is always nice to have. Search for rules. Uh, definitions. You know, standard standard rule book order. I haven't read it, so I don't know. Obviously, for sure. Nice big color line of sight example here. All right, so you got a rules of playbook. And then we have the scenario book, and this is a little thicker. This is the same same weight material. It's 64 pages, so twice as big, and covers these scenarios in the game, of which there are apparently 10 and has an extended example of play. Oh, that's nice. Uh, it has two introductory scenarios, uh, excuse me, four introductory scenarios to help you learn the rules, and then ten actual scenarios. So that's cool. Um, you know, instead of starting out with, you know, saying, oh, we got 14 scenarios. You have, you have some simple ones to just educate you on the system. So the scenario four gives out the breakdown of how it works in the special uh, tables that you might need. So, another big book. And then we've got a weapon characteristics chart. So now, this is a little glossier coded card stock. Spotting chart, order terrain, uh, weapons characteristics, and the sequence of play, and indirect fire table. Okay, and then we've got a chart for to play your cards onto, it would appear. It's display mat, it says. Enemy deck, discard pile, friendly initiative, 
And then enemy squads, you got yellow, white, uh, red, and blue. Again, coated, more durable card stock. Now we've got a, what do they call this? They don't call it anything in here. It's stacking overflow, uh, turn chart, initiative track, and impulse chart. All right, and then, let's see. This looks like a second copy of the sequence of play chart. So I've got two of those. So I don't know if that's intentional. If you want to play solo with a friend, so each controlling squads against the AI. All right, so now we've got the counters and here is where some of the problem came in. And let's see what we got here. We have six, six counter sheets. We have smaller counters here for markers, uh, orders, suppression, uh, weapons, things like that. Okay. And this one here, more markers, um, alert. Okay, these look pretty good. Uh, they, look, they look very well registered so far. Uh, with Compass, again, just like it was with Enemy Action or Den, the, the, the sheets themselves seem thin, but once you actually punch the counters out, and these are not wanting to fall out very easily, uh, they do tend to uh, be pretty much pretty standard counters, so I wouldn't worry about that. All right, some more. Uh, we've got Smoke, Minefields, uh, Enemy, Killed in Action, and your standard, I mean, obviously going to be custom for this game, but pretty standard. And then, got some more orders here. Got run and gun, sneak, evade. Looks like orders to remember what each individual unit is doing. All right, so these are the smaller, uh, could be about 9 sixteenths counters. All right, and then the unit counters, see the maps there. The unit counters comprise the first two sheets. Okay, and they're nice big one inch counters. And again, there's been some observation that they seem thin. Let's see if we can punch one here. There we go. Punches out pretty cleanly. So, a finger right through it. All right. But when you have them, they're still pretty good counters. They're about the same thickness as, as standard wargame counters have been for a long time. Uh, and then the... Um, you know, they start to get thicker now, but these are, you know, these are pretty standard. So now, but the problem that has come into play and Compass realizes this, I'm going to try to put that guy back in there so I can flip it. When they print counters, they print the front and then they print the back and then they're pieced together, right? Uh, the two sheets are then pieced pieced together and then punched. And what happened here is that when the second counter sheet, when this, when both of these counter sheets got printed, the back side got rotated 180 degrees. So let's look at the guy we just punched here. He is, let's see, he is Soldat Hoffman. Okay. But when you flip his counter over, you expect there to be a German symbol. And what do we have? We have a American. Right? So, Private O'Connell, Abel, of Abel Company, is up here. Okay? So, it's the second from the side, the second from the side. So, what happened is I got rotated. So, that has caused... Unfortunately, the printer messed this up and caused Compass no, no uh, small amount of aggravation on this. So the good news is they've already, they immediately, when they found out about it, they ordered um, replacement sheets. Everyone who has ordered the game directly from Compass, which is the only way you can get it right now, is, uh, is going to get the two replacement sheets sent to them free of charge. 
uh, they were going to sell this in stores, and they still will be selling this in stores. However, um, they have held off shipping to stores until the replacement counters come in. So it should only be a few weeks before those come in. The good news is the designer, Ross Mortel, uh, designed uh, a scenario, an additional scenario, to allow um, you to play with the counters that don't require being flipped. So you have that option. There is also, um, they released the artwork uh, for the counters. And so you can actually download, if you have access to, to uh, color printer, uh, you can download label, um, uh, download the, the sheets and print them on label paper or print them on regular paper and actually paste up the backs of the counters. Because as you'll see, most of these for the Germans anyway, are just hidden markers. You got your different squads, different colors that we saw on the uh, tracking chart. So most of those, like the second sheet is almost all German, okay? So it's not really gonna matter too much. It matters for the Americans. So you can probably just paste up the Americans. Another option, and I haven't followed this one too closely because I'm probably just gonna paste up the ones I need. But uh, another option is you can just use markers uh, not, not magic markers, um, uh, like uh, tile spacers or cubes or whatever to denote a hidden unit. So it's really not... The game, is, the game obviously has a flaw in, 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 in the, out of the box, right? But it does not... It's not unplayable. So anyway, I'm not, I'm not an apologist for Compass. I'm just relating that news. So if you're watching this and it's after... Uh, probably August or mid-September of 2019. It's probably all fixed now. It's not a big deal. But if you get it now, you can go ahead and order it. You can go ahead and enjoy it. Uh, you just have a little bit of either arts and crafts or some modifications or workarounds to do. Or just wait and order it once you see that they've, they've corrected the issue. So, again, not really that big a deal. But just wanted to make sure you're aware of what it is. And it's only these two sheets. The other sheets are all fine. I say that, let me make sure, yeah, it, it's fine. Okay, so, counters, six sheets of counters. Okay, and then we also have maps that come in the box. And these are uh, large, there are three, four, four maps. So we're going to take a quick look at them. They are big maps, they're like two by, uh, they're single-sided. So you're definitely gonna need plexi, and they are are pretty big. They're almost two foot by three foot here. Just give you a quick overview. The artwork's not bad. It's uh, you know it's a it's a it's a it's a step more austere than combat uh, conflict of heroes, and a little more detailed than a combat commander or an ASL might be. So. I mean, obviously, you're not going to mistake what the terrain is. And since the scale, I'm not sure what the scale is in meters, probably 50 meters, but you're using individual units on the board. So uh, you got that to, to uh, think about, too. So even though it's a big map, it's not covering a, a whole huge area either. So anyway, uh, so there's one. And you've got... Relief showing hills and uh, depressions. Now that's one thing is it's very, it's not necessarily easy to tell if that's, uh, if that's descending or ascending for a hill. Uh, I guess it depends on the way you're thinking about it with the lighting. And we'll just go and do one more of these here. This was map uh, that we looked at here was map three of the village. So we'll go to uh, map one. So there's map one through four here. And this one is the farmhouse. I mean, these are not maps you're going to hang on your wall and and display forever, right? But they're they look completely functional for a game. So, unfortunately, the game box is sitting under this, so it's a little hard to to indicate. But there's a bigger building here that's multi-hex. You got walls, low walls. Water features, rocks, hills. So, 
if you go ahead and pick up your copy now or later of Combat by Compass Games, you are going to get four large, almost two by three maps. You're gonna get six sheets of counters. Right now, two in need of some TLC and four that are okay, and the two will be replaced after a short delay. You get two copies of the sequence of play chart. I assume, I would think you're only getting one, so this may just be a boxing error since they weren't side by side. So I would only expect one copy of that. Uh, you get a uh, turn track, initiative track chart, a display mat, you get a 64 page scenario book, you get a rules of play, you get two decks of cards, and you get three dice. And that is what comes in combat from Compass Games. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!